Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And these are the spikes I installed on my electric unicycle without damaging it. How did I do it? Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. I was planning on installing spikes on my pedals, on the foot plates of my electric unicycle, but I really didn't want it to damage it or drill any holes in it or do any other stuff that would be painful for my electric unicycle and for the uh, resale value of it. So I bought these. These are mountaineering strap-on clamp-ons. That's, um, that's the name I found on the internet. Uh, these are some strap-on spikes for your shoe. So usually you just put them like these, like this on your shoe and Needs second hand point. <laughs> <laughs> so normally you just put them like this on your shoe and then you can go mountain climbing like here in the extreme mountains of Warsaw and they have way better grip grip than my left shoe. But that's not important. The important thing is that strap on clamp ons stuff is actually quite cheap because they're for like ten dollars ten euro in the Cathlon. So what you do later on is you take your wheel, you take these and instead of putting it like on your shoe, you put them the other way around. You just install them roughly on the pedals so that they don't move around. The Gotway Nikola has pretty big foot plates so I opted for the medium size because they stretch also quite a bit. So then I put this part in the front and this part in the back and now you have spikes on your wheel for no money and no effort at all and they're actually well they're not super comfortable because they're just in the middle of the foot plate so you can perhaps move them around to have better grip or to just make them more suitable for you there are also different versions to these contraptions so you can buy different ones at mountain stores I'm curious what you come up with um, but all in all that's the idea and uh, this is a way to install spikes on your wheel without damaging it drilling any holes any like very effortful work the ride experience is great because especially in the winter especially when it's rainy uh, you desperately need grip to hold your wheel and these things is I mean I can maybe I can show you the difference how it looks like without the so this is how it looks like if I would be riding on my wheel perhaps I just move it around and my foot has no grip so suddenly I can land here or here uh, and there's no possibility like this on the on the spikes my foot just stays in place I mean I can't even move it it's insane it's awesome so even if they're maybe not as comfortable because all the spikes are in the middle I will ride the whole winter in these things uh, because of the grip because of the safety and because of the performance on the road another minor issue is that here are these two elements this uh, rubber pieces and they they can wear out and the other bummer is that the spikes, when you fold them, actually go against the plastic. So better install some rubber here or something else to protect your wheel against these spikes. But they're actually thin enough to make the magnets still work on your wheel. So the pedals still don't just go down. So it's a pretty easy solution, pretty cheap. Um, I hope you might find it useful. And if you're still here, Thank you. Please leave a like on the video. Um, uh, like on the video and subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next episode.